Okay, so in this example, we're going to look at how to write to a CSV file. And all we're going to do is ask a user to enter some forenames and surnames of pupils and put in a, a Scottish candidate number, for example. And we're going to call this um, function called input details. And there's going to be no parameters passed into this one. Now I'm just going to copy and paste uh, a bit of code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a user to enter the amount of pupils that they have. And then I'm going to declare my arrays of four names, surnames, and SEN. And as they're all um, strings, I'm just going to leave them as that. Now, if you did want to indicate them as strings, what you could do is you can put in speech marks there. Just to indicate that you really are dealing with strings and, and nothing else. Now, we're asking the user how many numbers, uh, sorry, how many people they want to put in. And we're making sure we store this as an integer. And that way, instead of hard coding uh, the amount of um, variables, uh, sorry, the amount of arrays, the amount of elements in each array we're going to have, sorry, um, it will then, it will just create that for us. So now we're going to need to um, ask the user to enter their um, details. So X and range, and it's very good um, because we know the pupils, i.e. the amount of pupils, we can actually use that. Or, if you want to be consistent, what you can just do is grab the length of any of the array because they're all the same. So, for each, um, for each, sorry, uh, people, what we're going to need to do is get them to enter their four names. Their four names, sorry. So, four name X and input. Please enter. Oops, better watch that couple out there. Please enter your four name. We're going to do a little bit of copying and pasting here. And rather than four names, we're going to have surnames. And we're going to have SCN number. Please enter your surname and please enter your SCN. And then we're going to need to return our arrays of four names, surnames, and SCN. So I will just call that and check that that works first. So I will make my main subroutine. And we will call our function. And it's pretty much a good idea to copy and paste your function names. Input details equals, uh, sorry, wrong way around. Input details. We're not going to pass anything, but what we are going to get out is four names, surnames, and SCN. And then we just remember to call our main subroutine here. Now I'm only going to test this initially with just two names or so just to check that it is working. So two pupils, yep. So Joe Smith, random candidate number, and Anna Smith. And I'm going to check that I have stored as text by putting a zero there for the candidate number. And obviously at the minute it doesn't do anything because we haven't um, told it to print anything yet. So what we will do is we'll start to write our um, write details. So now this is going to need some parameters passed in. We're going to need our four names. We're going to need our surnames and we're going to need our SENs, our candidate numbers. So they need to be passed in. Now they're not going to be passed out, but the, the, the subroutine needs to know what they are. Okay. so. Here is where we uh, give some new code. So with open, which we've kind of done before, and we're going to make a file called scn.csv. So this is going to create a file, and we're going to use an object, and we're going to call that object write file. Now what we're going to need to do here is build up a string of each bit of data we want to write to the file. So for x and range, and we're going to go for the length of any of the array because, oh, sorry, bracket the wrong way around there, because it, they're all the same size, so it's fine. What we need to say is that the line we're going to write is going to be, now I'm just going to bit copy and paste in here, is going to be the four names plus the surname plus the SCN. Now the trouble is, I'm going to put a break point there, and I'm going to go and halt that program there. Now I will just need to call it here, so let's just have a look at what's going on here. Write details, and we'll need to pass in 
all of the three arrays there. So let's just call that one. So if we go and debug this program, I want to halt that program there. So if I put in two pupils and place into your forename, Joe, Smith, Anna, oops, wouldn't really matter at the minute. Smith two and candy number. Okay. What we'll see is that if I go there, okay, you'll see that the line is all scrunched together. Look, Joe, Smith, Anna. So what we need to do is we need to add a bit of space between them. So we're going to need to add spaces there. Okay, so we'll just concatenate a little bit more. And I'm just going to put a print line here saying file. I know the file hasn't, we have actually created the file, uh, but we've not actually done anything with it. It's just so that the, the program that some, that some are doing. So if I go to debug again, I'll put two pupils. I'll put Anna Smith, our candidate number is that. And I'll put Joe Smith and a different candidate number. And if I just step through the code a little bit, Okay, now that's looking a little bit better. I can see I've got Anna space Smith space one, two, three, double two. But what we know is that when we read from a file, we need commas in there so that when we're separating it, we can do something with it. So if I just stop my program there, rather than put spaces in between, we're going to put commas. Okay, so we're relatively happy that that line's being, being sorted. So what we'll call is write file dot write and we want to write the variable called line to it so if i run that program there so two pupils so joe smith a candidate number of that and anna smith and a candidate number of that now what it's saying there is unsupported file not writable okay that is because we have not told it that we want to write to the file. When you open a file, normally it opens it as read. So that's why it's saying the file isn't write writable. So to fix that, all we do is we put a W here. So when we're opening this file, okay, and I'm just going to quickly, I ran that previously, so I'm just going to delete that file there and check that I've not got to open anywhere else. Cool. Right. So if I run this program now, so again, I'll just try it with two pupils. So Anna, Smith and this candidate number and Joe Smith and this candidate number. Okay, files created and I'm just going, it will be made in the same directory that you have um, ran your program in and I'm just going to open that. Now what you'll see is it has written it but what we'll notice is that it's put it all on one line. It has put the commas in between it but it's also not put in your line. So we need to put a new line character on there. Okay. Now Python's got a way of doing that and we've kind of did it before when we've read from a file is we need to add a new line character there, okay, onto the end of the line before we write it. So let's just, okay, I'm actually going to go and delete that file, okay, and I'll close the old one just so we know that we're looking at the correct one. So. If we run this, let's run the program again from scratch. So to Anna Smith, this candidate number, Joe Smith, and this candidate number. And I'm just going to go and look at the file again. That's better because what you'll see now is that we have got the two on a separate line. But there is still a, a problem. Now I'm just going to open the SCN here. Okay, just so I can look at it in a second. So, let's run our program again. Now we know we had Anna Smith and Joe Smith. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it this time and I'm just gonna put an extra one pupil and I'm gonna put in Joe Blogs and whatever his candidate number is. And if I look at the SCN, what you'll see is that it's actually overwritten the file, which is maybe what you want, but sometimes it won't be. So what we're gonna to need to do is change the way the file is being opened. Write will open the file, will create a file if none exists, which is fine, 
and it will open it and it will empty that file and then start again. Now, if you want to add things to the end of the file, so we will need to change the mode to append. So A standing for append there. So at the minute we've got Joe blog. So I'm just going to go and run again with another quick file. I'm just going to put an extra one pupil and this time we'll put Anna Smith back in with whatever her candidate number is. And this time, if you look at the CSV, you'll see that it's actually put the code at the end. So to summarize this program, okay, this is just a normal input details, creating our um, arrays, which are local variables there. And we are returning them and assigning them outside of our subroutine, and that's great. And our write details, which is where the, the kind of big code is, okay, we open this, this is opens our file for appending, okay, and I'll put a little comment in line here, A appends the file, W writes the file. Okay, in fact, overwrites the file, that's probably better. And then what we do is for the length of the array, we concatenate our three pieces of our array together, and we put a comma in between, and we remember to put a new line character, okay, so again, so concatenate the, the string together with end of line character. And then what we do is we actually write the line to the file. Okay, and at this point here, file is now closed. Okay. And that is basically how to write a CSV file, A being append and W being write.